Today in Philly, there's an event on Elfris Alley, which is the nation's oldest residential street. And we filmed a prank there. <laughs> So it's kind of cool. They're gonna let people walk inside of one of the houses today. I think that's so interesting because I've been on the street so many times and I was always wondering what it's like. These are like 300 year old houses. Let's go see what it's all about. Yes. I just met Carolyn. She is one of the residents here on Elfris Alley. So tell me about your house. It is built in 1800. Dorothy Adi used to live there and she started the Preservation Society to save Elfris Alley with a tea shop. Can I see it? Absolutely. Yeah, I wanted to go in here so bad so long ago. Is it this one? This one right here. Do you remember when people were doing a zombie prank a long time oh ago? Oh my god, yes. That was me. That was me. I remember <laughs> that. on this street date back to like 1700s, right? 1736. They didn't even have kitchens back then. They would either work in their basements or they'd have like a fire pit outside. This house right here, the women that used to live here like 300 years ago used to make dresses out of their house. They didn't have a bathroom in the house. They would literally go to the bathroom in a pot, like a little bowl. It was weird. As your attorney, I advise you to rent a very fast car with no top. So I'm in one of the homes <laughs> of Sally right now. It is so small. Like I could almost touch the ceiling. If I wanted. These are the clothes they wore back then. And sleep tight came from because they would pull this and it would make okay? the bed tighter. Wanna have a few drinks and smoke the joint bubbles? Yes. <laughs> In honor of April Fool's Day, I am going to prank call my dad right now. I had to do something because you guys love the PvP tradition, so I'm going to keep it going. And I used to prank call my dad like every year. I never open the windows in my house, but I need to open the window at least a crack so it sounds like I'm outside in order to make this prank sound believable. Hi, this is Steve. Please. He's not answering. This is so bad. I don't know what to do. I want to prank him. He might call me back though because I called him three times in a row. I want to prank my dad. My dad's calling me back. Oh my god. Dad? Yes, what's up? I tried calling you. I need your help. What's up? I'm stuck and I kept trying to call you. I know. Well, I didn't get your messages till now. But, uh, Wait, listen. Me. I went rooftoping today and I'm stuck on the roof. My foot is stuck because I slipped off of a little ladder and it's stuck in this metal piece. And it falls. No, I'm serious. I'm there right now. I need help. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding, Are Dad. You? My foot is still right? stuck. I'm on top of a roof near City Hall. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. No, no, you're, you're not, you're not. Dad, please help. I don't know what to do because I'm going to get in trouble if I get off. If I, if I can't, I can't. I don't know what to do. Where I, are you? Are you safe? Are you, are you I'm, I'm like on a roof, but my foot is like stuck in some freaking like metal thing that's on the roof. Are you kidding me? No, I'm serious. 
You called me three times. I called you three times because it. How can I get down there? I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I don't know who to call. I don't know who can help me. Are, are you in danger? I don't. I'm I'm safe, but my foot is stuck inside this thing. I don't even know what it's called. You would know. You're fucking kidding me. Are you, are you serious? Dad, it hurts. You're not, you're not going to fucking die, Columbia, are you? April Fool's! <laughs> <laughs> you're a bitch. I know. Uh, uh, ha 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 ha. I got you. Alright. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I wish I had me believing you. Were you calling me just a bug me? Yes. <laughs> I don't care. I'm a daddy's girl. I love my dad. He's so nice. He was going to come get me. <laughs> but did you see? He didn't believe me at first. He knows me so well. But then I, I'm very convincing when I tell my little lie pranks. I've been wanting to bring back this cat treat to this house for so long. And I never had a way to get it here. But this week, I had a rental car big enough to fit it in. So I finally was able to bring it back out of storage. And the cats are so happy. If you have been watching the vlogs for a really long time, you guys will know how important this cat tree has always been to the cats and to the videos. They've been in so many videos. Nyla, what's the matter? <laughs> I filmed their reaction getting it and it's really awesome. My cousins helped me, so I want you guys to see it. Bambi's opened it himself. Oh my god, he did it! He opened it! <gasps> Boo -boo, come on, guys! So being that it was April Fool's Day, and on March 30th, it just so happened to be the one year anniversary of Prank Academy. So, in honor of that, I would like to do a little giveaway. I have this hat here. It's an exclusive Phillies Prank Academy hat, one of a kind. And I have two Prank Academy book bags. School bags, book bags, what do you guys call them actually? I would like to know. I call it a school bag. I have always called it a school bag. And I want to give away a $100 Best Buy gift card. All you have to do if you want to win is be subscribed to this channel, be a first GF, and write a comment below why you think you should win. And then I will be picking people at random and I'll send you a message on YouTube. And I played a pretty funny prank on you guys on Twitter today for April Fool's Day. So if you didn't see it, you gotta follow me on Twitter. It's at phillychick5 and all the links to my other socials are in the description box. And thank you guys so much for all your love and support through all these years. I really appreciate it and I will see you soon. Peace on the street, son. Bye. How do I look? It's so big on me. Oh my God. So when are you guys are gonna get this hat? I wish I could look good in a hat. I look so dumb. Oh, by the way, it's a seven and one fourth. That's the size. Gangsta. Backwards maybe?